Hi, my name is Melissa. This is my new channel. I'm a stay-at-home mom of four, and today I want to share a bunch of quick and easy meals that I like to make that doesn't take a lot of prep work. They are very fast and easy to make and mostly healthy. Check out my channel for more and keep watching if you want to be inspired by some simple meals. The first thing I'm going to talk about is breakfast. So smoothies are always a really easy option. I almost always add a frozen fruit. I freeze my bananas a lot of times when they start to turn brown and I don't have time to make banana bread. I put, put them in the freezer, make sure you peel them and cut them up first before you freeze them. Um, I also always add almond milk and I like to put ice in mine because I just like the texture of the ice. I also love to add honey, sometimes I add Greek yogurt, and I love to add spinach because it's an easy way to get another vitamin in there and sneak it in without your kids detecting a vegetable. Also adding avocado is another good way to make a creamy smoothie. And I really love to add protein powder, like a vanilla protein powder. Flaxseed is very healthy and good for your digestive system. And chia seeds, but chia seeds are more of a grainy texture. So if you don't like that, you might not like chia seeds in yours. Adding peanut butter or almond butter is another good option for smoothies. I'm going to talk a lot about berries in this video. Um, so another easy way to add a little vitamins to your breakfast would be adding berries to just plain, regular Cheerios and milk. I don't add sugar, I'll add just strawberries, blueberries, bananas a lot of the time. But another fun way to mix it up is dicing up apples and adding cinnamon and sugar to your Cheerios and it's kind of like a healthier option of the apple cinnamon Cheerio and it's very fast and kids usually love that too. Just simply adding berries or fruit as a side to your breakfast or even to your lunch. If, you, if I haven't had a fruit with my breakfast that day, I will try to add one to my lunch just so I'm getting some of those vitamins in at some point in the day. It doesn't have to be for breakfast, but I love to add berries to Greek yogurt. Tapioca pudding is really good with strawberries if you can make it from scratch. It's not as healthy, but it's very simple to make. It's just kind of time consuming. Putting berries inside of crepes, which I have a very simple and quick recipe on my page for crepes if you would like to check that out. But that's another way to add fruit or even peanut butter for protein to your breakfast that's simple and healthy. And even just having fruit as a side to your eggs in the morning. There's so many different ways to eat our eggs and obviously everyone probably already has their favorite way to eat eggs, but the way that we like to eat our eggs is of course having deviled eggs and that's a good snack or for breakfast, brunch, lunch. We even just like to keep boiled eggs in the fridge for a quick and easy way for the kids to peel eggs and get their protein in. I like to fry my eggs. I love adding fresh dill to my eggs, or even dried dill is really good on eggs, and it changes it up a little bit from the usual salt and pepper. I've also been loving the Everything Bagel seasoning that you can get at Aldi for, I believe, under $2, and it is really good on fried eggs as well. A cucumber side is very easy. Thinly slice your cucumbers, add mayo, vinegar, sugar, salt, and pepper. Also sliced purple onion is really good and just toss it and let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. I like to use my leftover shredded cabbage from another recipe that I'm going to be sharing on this video. 
And whenever I have leftover shredded cabbage, I like to make a simple coleslaw, which is just mayo, lemon juice, salt, pepper. I think you can add a little bit of vinegar. I always just kind of Google a recipe that says simple. It's always a good, refreshing thing to eat when you're in a hurry. Another easy throw together lunch is just a small bowl of cottage cheese with fresh diced tomato and cucumber and of course everything bagel sprinkled on top or salt and pepper if you don't like that. I love to eat fresh veggies. They're so good in the summer especially. Even just dipped in ranch, fresh from the garden and grown tomatoes and green beans. I love keeping an assortment of fresh veggies chopped up in the fridge before the week starts. So for lunch I can just pull out all the different types of things with maybe a boiled egg for protein or celery sticks with peanut butter. Adding a side of hummus or even guacamole that you could make yourself, which I did buy a store-bought one for this video, but it's so simple to make guacamole yourself and it's a really good dip for vegetables as well. Not everybody likes carbs, but there's also something that I found in the grocery store and they're like 90 calorie packs, they're called Wisps, and I believe they're just completely made of dried cheese, I don't know, you'd have to read the packages, but I think that's a good way if you're in the mood for a salty snack and be able to dip those into your dips as well. If you're trying to cut down on carbs, another easy way to do that is using a head of lettuce in place of your bread items. So we like to wrap our hot dogs and brats in lettuce leaves, also use them in place of a tortilla. And there's another thing I like to buy at the grocery store, they're called Slender Rounds. It's like very thin, multi-grain bun that's only 90 calories and those are a good alternative too. All right, onto the meals that take a tiny bit more prep. The next one is just a simple sandwich. I use the slender rounds as my bread, and then I fry an egg, pop the yolk, I will add everything bagel seasoning, and on one side of the bread, I spread tuna. I don't add the mayo into the tuna on this sandwich. I will spread very thin mayo on the bread, and then I add whatever veggies that I want, which is usually spinach, radishes, and onions and it's really good and simple. But you could add whatever you like to it. Cucumbers would be really good as well. Or pickles. Pickles always go good with tuna, especially for kids. Another simple one I like to make, we call it veggie eggs. It's basically like omelet, except for it doesn't take as much work to prepare. So I will usually take whatever veggies I have in my fridge that sound good. A lot of times it will be carrots, green peppers, sometimes fresh green beans from my garden, but that's not always my favorite one to add. Onions, spinach, and I'll fry that up in a little bit of olive oil on the, in a frying pan. And then I will fry my eggs. I always pop the yolk on mine. That's just the way that I prefer to eat it. And then I top all of the veggies onto the eggs and then I'll usually sprinkle fresh chopped up radishes on top of that because I just love radishes. And sliced tomato, of course, with the everything bagel seasoning. And it's just really good, fresh, and healthy. Of course, another very obvious one that everybody knows about is throwing together a salad. You could do so many different types of salads. 
I'll just share one that my sister taught me that is one of my favorites is just adding sliced strawberries to my spinach and then also sliced almonds, feta cheese, and I like to add baked chicken or even rotisserie chicken. Sometimes we buy those and I'll have leftover chicken and I just throw that in there and it's really good. We add raspberry vinaigrette to that specific salad and there's also the idea of taking whatever leftover meat that we have from dinners during the week. I've taken leftover ro beef roast and shredded it up and topped it on my spinach, added onions, added pepperoncini peppers, if I'm saying that right, and tomatoes and your dressing of choice just to add some more protein and use up things that you have in the fridge and it's just a healthy quick way to make a lunch. I forgot to mention the other tuna option. My children love to have their tuna with pickles chopped up in mayo and that's it all mixed together and put on bread. But I have done it before where I have added things like radishes and spinach that I've minced up very tiny and then mixed it in with the tuna and mayo and they don't even usually notice it's there. It's just very textured and it's Tastes a little more grown up than a kid's pickled tuna sandwich and my kids will eat it. Another of my family favorite meals, it's really good in the summer, they are called Waldorf wraps. All it is is basically prepping fruit and veggies and throwing them in a bowl and it's so fast and easy. We usually add about two apples, three or four stacks of celery diced up and probably a cup and a half of grapes and then chicken of choice it's obviously healthier to use baked chicken we've done it with rotisserie chicken but we also will just keep the cans of chicken in the house even though they're packed with salt and things like that but it's just an easy way to leave those in your pantry so when you have all the ingredients in the house you can just throw it together and it does add a very salty flavor to it which I think actually tastes really good because I don't normally like to eat that chicken but it's really good in there. You can just add it to any type of tortilla or wrap that you wish and you could also even add it to a lettuce leaf if you don't want to use a tortilla. I eyeball everything for this, but the dressing is somewhere around a cup of mayo, the juice from about half a lemon, and salt and pepper. A very simple dinner that my kids beg for is just baked chicken. We've done it before where we add barbecue sauce, but a lot of times I will just bake it with salt and pepper or rub it in olive oil first. We will usually add a baked veggie to the side. One of our favorites is just broccoli and cauliflower and we toss it or massage in <laughs> the olive oil and add salt and pepper and bake it in the oven. It's really easy and good. And the last recipe I'm gonna be sharing today is shrimp taco bowls. So we just bake the baby salad shrimps in the oven and then we add all the toppings that we like to the bowl and you just mix it up. It's so simple. I'll usually make a homemade tartar sauce which is just mayo, lemon juice, and we usually add diced pickles and onions to ours and salt and pepper, but you could do it however you want. We like to add some type of white beans to ours, shredded cabbage, corn, onion, cilantro, tomato, any types of salsa, avocado, guacamole, whatever toppings you like, sour cream is also really good on there as well. We've done another dip with sour cream and Tabasco sauce and seasonings. That was really good as well. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this little cooking journey and I hope you are intrigued by some of my simple recipes and let me know if you try any of them in the comments below and what you think and if you have any other